Welcome everybody to Die Lars Twilight Tactics. It is January 28th. This is my state of the galaxy, state of my account, more so, video. It's Thursday, which means one, I get to watch The Expanse, which is, in my opinion, the best sci fi on TV. Sorry, Star Wars is sci fi fantasy, not sci fi. Prove me wrong in, down below in the comments. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. We actually got some news to talk about. So, today, the road ahead dropped, and we were told that Galactic Conquest, or the Conquest game mode, is coming to the hollow table. So, they're going to put it in Galactic War. So, I don't know how they're going to switch this UI around. Maybe there'll be, like, a tab somewhere. It'll be, what, Galactic War or just War, because there's too many Galactics. So, War... Galactic Challenges and Galactic Conquest. Now, they say you can choose your path. You can go to different sectors and there's bosses depending on where you go. So, in my opinion, it's going to be a mix of Marvel, Strike Force, Dark Dimension, and Raid. Dark Dimension is a solo uh, solo event where you, just, you, you, you can keep going into the same node, use your characters, they reset after a day, and then you get bigger rewards at the end. Whereas the raids are set up in paths. You pick a path, and then after like three nodes, you had a boss fight, and then you keep going and try to get to the top. You try to get to the end. So I envision Galactic Conquests to be something like that. And uh, I can't wait. I'm excited for that. Um, and that's. I've already made a bunch of tabs on Galactic Conquest. Quest, yeah, Galactic Conquest teams. Because. They say that as you use the teams, they're going to get progressively weaker. Their stamina, sta stamina, I have trouble with that word, is going to get lower and lower and lower. So, it's going to be kind of like Galactic War, whereas you kind of want to use the team, the first team you fight, you want to use a team of equal power to beat it. You don't want to use your, your Galactic Legends, because then your Galactic Legends are going to wear out, and you're going to need them. For the further on, the more the harder nodes as you progress. So it's kind of like Galactic War, if you remember what that was like. And uh, let's just we'll just go look right now at my squads. So I rearranged my entire roster into teams today when I heard this news. And um, well, you can just see that it's arranged by power. So my JML is my most powerful. Ray, SLKR. As you see, I don't have crew on here. I just got the one tank, a damage dealer, and then people that can pass for me to the crew because crew can make up his own team. A uh, gas team, a JTR team, a Padme team, a CLS team, and none of these tunes overlap. Sith Empire, uh, Galactic Repu or uh, Old Republic Jedi slash Jedi Empire slash Watt because Watt is an honorary Empire member. There's that crew team. Bounty Hunters, Night Sisters, Separatists, Scoundrels, other Sith, with my brand new Gear 13 Maul, Troopers, uh, Rebel Fighters, Scrub Resistance, Scrub Rebels, Geonosians, and then this is a uh, Scrub Sith, which uh, Wampa is a placeholder for Sith Eternal Emperor. Because I'm quite sure I'm going to have Sith Eternal before Galactic Contest comes out. And uh, obviously Sid's going to be an R7, right? Dooku's going to be R6, because those are the requirements. But then I was thinking I was going to keep... Uh, I was going to relic my Savage, and I was going to relic my Sith Assassin. Alright, so that's kind of my plans. Um, I haven't changed my farming priorities yet. I'm just, just trying to keep that in mind for when it comes. So, where am I at right now in the game? What have I done this last week? So as you see here, this is actually not the team. I gotta remember to switch this team out. I'm running the Jedi Revan as the lead. It, it, it holds better on defense. Uh, I have one more spot to climb, so hence I'm climbing with my Malevolence, but spoiler warning, I did do an R8 Kenobi and I'm practicing that in Arena. It's actually kind of fun using Kenobi again, because for months and months and months and months and months, it seems I've only been climbing with the Malevolence. Still an alpha. I am 7.381. So 
7,381,000. I think last week when I made my video, I was 7.35. So I've added about 30,000 galactic power. All right, now where did that all come from? So as you see here on my favorites, the only things I got up here is Darth Sidious and Sith Eternal Emperor. And that's because I've been working on Sith Eternal Emperor requirements. Actually, they're going pretty quick. Oh, well, let's... Da, 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 journey Guide. C. Alright. So... Here you go. Wait, that's not all of them. Well, let's just look down here. Alright. So, what did I do this week? Uh, Darth Vader, Emperor Palpatine, they were already R7. I got my Royal Guard to Relic. I think he's even Relic 3. Piet was already relic Krennic is relic right now, but I'm holding off on relic him to four until I lock in for week four of GAC. Sidious is close to being relic I relic my Maul. I relic my Dooku. Um, Sith Marauder is already relic but I don't want to take him to seven yet. Thrawn was already relic uh, I did Grand Moff, I think, last week, and then uh, Veers and Stark were already relic So, this week was all about, and only about, Sith Eternal Emperor farming. So yeah, I did Dooku, I did Maul, and I did Royal Guard. I think those are the ones that I've completed this week. I think last week I already had Grand Moff Tarkin done. And uh, then what am I going to do? Actually, you know what I really want to do? I'll just scan through here. I'll show you where my top 80 is. So what are we? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 rows of 66. 72, 78, right there, Poe Dameron is top 80. He's the 80th character. So no longer do I got to strip mods from Lando or Rose Tico for 5v5. Um, yeah, all these characters are out of my top 80. Now, Marauder is going to get bumped up in there. Which, oh well, it is what it is. Uh, Dooku is going to get bumped up in there. Uh, Tarkin's done. Uh, Krennic, since I had a Zeta on him from way back when, he's definitely going to get bumped up there as soon as I uh, relic him. But then may maybe I can peel those mods off and it'll bring him back out of my top 80. I don't know. Maul. I'm um, not sure if Maul is going to be in my top 80, but then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to want to use his ship, so this mod's got to stay on him. Uh, Quill's good right there at Relic Zero. He can stay right there for now. And yeah, Sidious obviously is going to bump way up. Royal Guard is already done, so definitely out of my top 80. So that's what my high-end roster looks like. Uh, what I kind of want to do after I'm done with C is I kind of want to do this. I'm going to go one of two ways. I'm going to work on um, characters to fill out the teams, which is going to be Geonosians and the other Sith for Sith Eternal Emperor. But what I kind of want to do is I want to get Bistan and Scarif Rebel Pathfinder done so that my Rebel fleet is better. I want to get Akbar to Relic. So these three Rebels. And then I also kind of want to get Gar Saxon and Imperial Super Commando to Relic. So it'll depend on how much time I got. Because I'll probably get C within three, three weeks. Um, hopefully two and a half weeks. I'd like to have them done by the time the next GAC 5v5 rolls around. So if I lock in, after I lock into week four, next Tuesday, I get two, I got two weeks just to go for it. Just to, just to push hard, relic everyone up and just go for them. Cause then uh, we won't have GAC for uh, two weeks after lock in. So that's my plan uh, for my roster. Now, what's my arena look like? Well, first of all, let's just switch this up right now. Let's just switch up this team. This is the team. I've already got C kind of a C team kind of earmarked down here. Still don't know what the best C team is. So if you guys uh, know the best C team for arena, put that in the description, please. If you know the best C team for GAC that doesn't pull from uh, the other Sith teams, let me know as well. So I don't want to really run Darth Revan and Malak and stuff under C in Arena. And I already know that you can run just him, Watch, or him in the armor, but like, give me the full Sith lineup that you would use. Alright. 
I'm not going to put Master Training on Gas, because Gas is probably just going to get stunned here shortly. Oh, so close to being dead. Uh, now you're dead. And now you're all stunned. And now your cooldowns are screwed. Alright, so now we got to push back your cooldowns again. Let's give this, since he likes to pick on gas, we'll give it over to you. Uh, let's pass that back to Luke, just so he can keep going. Go, Luke, go. Go, Luke, go. Oh, look at that. Oh, right, all right. Okay, so the big AoE is coming up next. Let's get our, our foresight up. Blah, 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 blah. Bye, crew. Oh, or are we going to land a ability block on him? Nope. So close. So close. Uh oh, here comes a big hit. Big hit, big hit. Oh, no. Uh, there it goes. He didn't use his AoE. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. But he's still got no turn meter. Or uh, ultimate charge. Alright, well, let's call in uh, gas then. Since. Oh, there's the AoE. We got a mark there, Revan. Sucks the gas is uh, stunned. You know, that's my major damage. But we're good. We're good. Boom. Done. Okay. Defense set. Good stuff. Now, ships. Ship, 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 ships. Should we look at ships? Not a whole lot to say about ships, guys. Um, what are we? We're 10 minutes. Yeah, we can get my number one payout. So, like I said, people are starting to R8 uh, their General Kenobi. Whether or not that's a good idea is debatable. And maybe after we do the ship battle, we'll go over my plans to do R8s. So let's uh, take our position now. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Uh, I think Benito has got one of the highest uh, GPs in the game. I know he's up there. What is he? 9.4. Man. Oh, looks like he changed guilds. Don't want to piss that guy off. Nope. 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 Don't want to do it. Don't want to do it. Because you know he spends money. And he can make your day rough. And his payout is the hour before mine in ships. Alright. Please land them all. Well, of course I don't land buff immunity. Because why would we want to make this any easier than it can be? And bye-bye, kill the vulture too. Why not? All right, that's okay. Now everyone's... This, it's probably still going to be a win. It's just going to take me a little bit longer. Still not triggered. Uh, oh, actually, you know what? Eh, I was hoping that that would... Uh, Silly me, silly me. So, let's see if we can trigger that now with my AoE. Let's, let's put some buzzies over on you. Uh, or do I bring in Spy? I think we bring in Spy and we try to chance it. Come on, RNG! Hey, RNG smiled on me. Because now, it's my turn next. And bye-bye, Anakin. But we're like a turn behind where I'd normally like to be. We're going to lose uh, Sunfac, but that's okay because that's right about when we're going to want to call the Houndstooth in. There goes Sunfac. That's okay. Oh, I can't bring in Houndstooth yet. Okay, well that sucks. Let's just stun you then. I want to leave that spot open for Houndstooth. Now Ahsoka's going to come in. Um, I might as well use this. Because he's just going to AoE me here shortly. And, yeah, why not? Let's just attack Ahsoka. She's going to counterattack, do all that bad stuff. Houndstooth's going to taunt now. As he does. Okay, now let's bring in ours. Because now we're just stalling until our ultimate. If I get that buff immunity on Anakin right off the bat, it's bang, 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 done. It's great. It's a beautiful thing when it goes. Uh, this is going to be a waste because uh, they're going to AOE me to death now, and I'm going to get lots of days. Boom, 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 days. Look at that. Days on everyone. Let's put more buzzies on there for craps and giggles. Oh, and now they're gone. 
And now he's got retribution. So, Budsies can do nothing. Let's just cleanse some days off them. So now we're just being stupid until the uh, ultimate comes up. Um, yeah, well, why? I guess let's put Budsies on you. Since you do have a taunt and I can go after you. Hey, we even got a kill. Nice. All right, where's my ultimate? Oh, oh, come on, we're wasting turns. And ultimate time. All right. But now we're all dazed. We've got bad stuff going on. Bye bye. Uh, let's not say we did. I was thinking about bringing in uh, the XB or whatever it's called, but this is just as quick. Done. Boom. Done. First in arena. An RAGK fleet, though, will not save you from the malevolence. And GG is in the running for a possible R8. All right, so now we got to put in our defensive team. All right. So we're going to put in GK, who's R8. So... Faster Malevolence, or Faster Negotiator. And now we're going to put in all Galactic Republic. So we're doing this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this. Ta-da! Battle. All right, guys, that's pretty much it um, for my State of Account video. Um, just going for C. That's it. Just the push for C is on. We are not even going to play this out uh, because it, there's no feat for this in GAC. There's no benefit to me. It's just a waste of time. And if I can skip it and then get out of here and go have supper earlier, cool. Because I also have a crank or to uh, to manage tonight. Give me my energy. Ta-da. All right. All right. Well, I hope this was uh, informative. I hope you got a little bit out of this. I hope you enjoyed it. I know uh, some people like these videos. Some people hate them. Some people don't watch them. Some people skipping. Whatever. I like doing them because I can kind of also look at my playlist and be like, oh, there's where I was there, 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 there. That's what I was doing. That was my GP. Bang, done. All right, ladies and gentlemen, catch you in the next one. Cheers, folks.